C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Clang clang clang, the ear.piercing sound emitted by forging an iron weapon was quite ear.piercing even in this large forging room. In the midst of the chaotic noise, men with bare upper bodies kept waving their arms and hammering down on the metal that was about to take shape in their hands, the sight of dozens of people forging a weapon at the same time was quite spectacular. However, among this group of dark dot skinned individuals, a somewhat skinny figure would easily attract their attention, sweat filled the wheat colored skin. The exposed upper body of the middle dot aged man was evenly distributed with muscles that gave off a visual impact. Every time the metal hammer in his hand landed, it would adjust the strength around his body and suddenly erupt. The boy's flushed face, which was roasted by the fire, could still feel the tender look from the youngsters. However, the boy acted as if he did not hear their gazes and continued to repeat the movements in his hands, as if he was the only one in this place. It's about time, as he softly muttered, he casually placed the sharp weapon that had been hammered to the side into the ice water. In an instant, a series of chi 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 sounds rang out, however, this sound caused the forging room, which was originally filled with chaotic noise, to instantly quiet down. All of the gazes were directed towards this direction. If the count was correct, this should be the fifth round, forging iron grade equipment required not only extreme familiarity with the technique, but also a considerable amount of strength. Only in this way could one forge a truly sharp weapon, for an ordinary person, being able to forge two or three a day was already quite good. If they were able to forge five, it was likely that only the blacksmiths in the Yellowstone City would be able to do it, even though they were used to this kind of abnormal youth, they could not help but feel a little apprehensive. After that, they seemed to have thought of something and shook their heads with extreme regret. They suppressed the shock they felt before and continued with the work they were doing. Let's end it here for today. Stretching out his numb arms, the youth did not look exhausted at all. This was already the third year in this forging room. This kind of intensity would not be too troublesome for him, however, before the youth could even get up, an icy cold gaze penetrated over from outside the forging room. This ice.cold feeling even caused the temperature of the forging room to drop quite a bit. Looking at the middle.aged man who was walking over with large strides, many people had fear flashing deep within their eyes. In regards to this man whose face was full of sideburns but was covered in silk, it was likely that not many people in Tang family would be able to recognize him, although he had long expected that this matter would not end so easily, he never expected that the other party would keep a close eye on him. Miss said that she only wants weapons with weapon markings. As he casually flipped through the weapons Tang Fong had previously forged, the bearded man said those words in disdain, however, when the word artifact mark was spoken, not only the youth, but everyone present trembled, the so dot called weapon markings referred to the process of forcefully pouring divine power into a weapon, allowing the weapon to break away from the texture of normal iron weapons and gain greater offensive power. However, weapons with inscriptions, forget about the people present, perhaps there were not even that many people in the entire Tang family. After all, apart from the requirement to be proficient in forging, more importantly, the blacksmith had to condense his own spirit pattern, taking a deep breath, the youth's expression returned to its previous tranquility. Then, with light footsteps, he ignored the middle-aged man's expression and directly walked outside. Tell your young lady that I only promise to forge some weapons for her. As for the quantity and quality, it all depends on my interest. If you don't like it, you don't have to. But save your useless tricks. Forget about Tang family, even if it was the entire Yellowstone City, it would have long ago been a secret. Towards this kind of unreasonable and tricky request from a man, Tang Fong basically could not be bothered to pay attention. Although everyone knew about Tang Fong and Yin Yuner, it had to be known that Yin family was Tang Feng's only hope at the moment, could it be that these words did not contain the consequences that he did not think of? Kid, you're courting death. Just as expected, Tang Feng's words caused the man's face to darken. As Yin Yuner's personal manager, even the patriarch of the Tang family would have to be slightly courteous to him, let alone Tang Feng, 
who was merely an abandoned bastard who had been abandoned by the Tang family. If not for that verbal agreement, Yin Yuner and him would have been two parallel lines. Immediately, a vicious aura burst out from the man's body. With a shout, his right arm swept out, and with a tight fist, he smashed towards Tang Feng's shoulder with a sharp sound that pierced the air, the sudden change caused the atmosphere in the artifact forging room to freeze to the extreme. Many people couldn't help but slightly retreat backwards, obviously because the current situation wasn't something that they, the servants of the Tang family, could participate in. Humph, with regards to the Yin family manager's attack, Tang Feng was not surprised at all. With a cold laugh, his pupils also contracted, and then, he slightly stepped to the right, dodging the man's attack in an instant. After all, although he did not go all out with this punch, the power of this punch was enough to shatter the ribs of a 14-year-old boy who was unable to condense a spirit pattern. He did not expect that such a punch could actually be dodged. However, before he could recover his senses, an ice.cold killing intent instantly enveloped him. What I hate the most is stabbing in the back. His five fingers bent, and similarly grabbed towards the man's shoulder. Unfortunately, such a short distance was not something that a man could escape from. The moment the tiger claw landed, a roar akin to a pig being butchered instantly burst out from the forging room. The man's face twisted in an instant. The pain from his broken bones made him feel as if he had fainted. Remember, number one, I am the direct descendant of the Tang family, how can a dog like you easily bite me? Secondly, even though I, Tang Fong, am unable to condense spirit pattern, my strength has already reached the seventh stage of the power stage long ago. It wouldn't be difficult for me to kill you. Thirdly, you must tell Yin Yuner that she has to pay for the betrothal gift in a month's time. The strength in his palm increased continuously as Tang Fong spoke those words, and every time he said them, the blood veins in his eyes would grow thicker, his originally somewhat frail body was currently like a heavy mountain in front of this Yin family overseer, pressing down so heavily that he couldn't even breathe. I don't care what others think of me, even if it means killing. Slowly retracting his palm, the corner of Tang Feng's mouth curled up into a smile. As a person who had experienced two lifetimes, his intelligence could no longer be compared to that of his peers. His deep eyes were like those of a demon that had walked out of hell. This hint of a smile caused the soul of the Yin family manager to tremble. That devilish gaze made all the hair on his body stand on end. He actually has the power stage of the seventh heaven, only after Tang Feng's figure had completely disappeared did the Yin family manager speak while drenched in sweat. But so what if you have strength? He would never be able to condense spirit pattern and never be able to create a divine ability. To dream of getting along well with the young mistress and talking nonsense in her sleep. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.